My name is Matt Hinkle and this is a video of Never Sink Cave in Alabama. It's a 163 foot vertical pit, so we'll just go over a few different techniques you can use on changeovers and single rope ascending. Never sink pit to limestone sinkhole. It's about 163 feet vertical, one way in, one way out to the top. This is Matt Hinkle. He's getting ready to demonstrate Frogger single rope technique. He is attaching his upper ascender, the two foot loops, to the half inch rope. The safety going back to his tri-link, the master point of his harness. There's a pedestal ascension coming back to the master point of his harness. He's gonna use these ascenders alternatingly to inchworm his way up the rope, at which point he will exit the pit. There are several techniques that you can use to manage the slack in the rope. As you move higher, the weight of the rope will move through your ascenders by itself. Till that point, you can either control the rope with your feet or you can feed the rope through on your pedestal ascension with your hands. This is Matt Hinkle performing Frogger single rope technique from the bottom of Never Sink Pit, Alabama. He is changing over from the Frogger ascending system for single rope technique to a descending system. At this time, he is tying into a CMI hyperrack extreme underneath the slack side of the rope. He will lock off the brake ball rack and then stand up in his foot loops to unweight the ascension on his harness, at which point he will sit back down and be weighted on the hyperrack extreme. Once he does a safety check that the hyperrack extreme is locked off, and he removes his upper ascender and begins his descent. My name is Russell McCuller. I'm using a frogger system to ascend out of the pit that involves Texas kick steps, an upper ascender, a safety going back to my malium, a pest curl, attach the master point in my harness, and I alternate the system back and forth and it lets me send the rope by standing up in my foot loops and sitting down on my curl. We have here is the Petzl ID. This is an FPA version, it's rated for half inch rope. You have no clip on the side plate. You can see on the back, you have several different features. You have a lock safety, and that is for stopping on the rope. You have several different speeds of descent, and you have a belay setting. This is your indicator. To control the descent, you move it through the descent phase. It has a panic feature, if you move past the descent, Descent, excuse me, it will automatically cam up and stop the device. As you can see on the inside, it has a safety cam. In case you read the device backwards, the cam is going to actuate and it's going to stop you on the line. So this device can only be rigged where this bottom portion of the rope goes towards the anchor and this top portion is the brake hand of the rope between the cam. This is Russell repelling on a Petzl ID G-rated descent control device. You can see it automatically locks up when he goes too far, pulls too far, it locks him out. This is Russell McCuller using single rope technique 
to ascend out of Never Sink Pit in Alabama. Russell's using a frogger system. This is half inch rope, NFPA G rated. 